you'll never guess what's in all these barrels around me. It's the largest supply of oil made from algae in the whole world. Let's go in the lab and see how it's made. Some call it pond scum, others simply algae. But this green stuff is a whole lot more than you think. Just ask Harrison Dillon. I love algae, I love biology. It's fascinated me since I was a kid. Dylan is the co-founder of Solazyme, a company that's turning algae into cleaner, greener energy. We turn algae into oil. And they're not just turning it into oil, they're turning it into fuel. You think of oil as this non-renewable thing that comes out of the ground, uh, and all that oil that comes out of the ground is from fossilized algae. So what we do is we use biotechnology to get the algae to make oil in real time. So it takes only a few days instead of millions of years. It's a recipe where every ingredient counts. So I've got my lab coat on, and I'm ready to see where all that magic happens. First comes picking the right algae for the job. These are a lot of different types of algae, so you can see that you know, some are yellow, some are green, um, you know, even some algae is, is bright orange. So really, algae are a very, very diverse set of organisms. To make oil really cheaply, to make renewable fuel, you really need to pick the right strain. They grow their algae in the dark and give the microbes a strict diet. So what we do is we take plant material like sugar cane or sawdust or wood chips, um, any type of plant material, and we feed it to strains of algae that we've developed. And the algae convert all that plant material into crude oil. And these are the stalks that are left over from processing sugar cane. So if you look in there, that's just the leaves and the stems and the roots from sugar cane plants. And we feed it to our algae, and the algae convert it into crude oil. It's happening right here in this lab. We are, as we speak, converting biomass into crude oil. That's what this device does. And once we have the crude oil, you know, it looks like this. It's, it's crude oil. And we can take this crude oil and we can turn it into biodiesel. Um, that's this fuel right here. This can fuel any diesel vehicle. Uh, we can also turn it into renewable diesel. That's this fuel here. This is fuel that's chemically the same as what comes out of the pump at the gas station. This has uh, about 30% less particulates and about 20% less total hydrocarbons than the regular diesel fuel that comes out of the pump at the gas station. Putting this stuff into your car is cleaner, more fuel efficient, and much, much more you know, carbon friendly than the regular stuff that you buy every day at the gas station. So one of the neat things about this technology is uh, we've designed it um, to, to be compatible with what's already out there. So you can use any diesel vehicle and you can go to any gas station. Uh, there's nothing special about the way this, this fuel is used. Think that's pretty cool? That's not all they're doing. Go ahead, okay. dip it in there, take a taste. Oh wow. Not bad, huh? It's actually really good. From cooking oil to fuel for cars, is there anything algae can't do? It can't do your homework for you. But Dylan is issuing a challenge. Our nation needs uh, our young people to get excited about science and to go into science. Every generation has a chance to change the world in some way, and it looks like energy is going to be what you know our current teenagers are going to be faced with when they become adults. It's a race to clean up the planet for us all.